In this chapter, we'll discuss users and permissions. Users can be added to a project in two ways. First, the administrator can manually add the user via the Add button in the Users pane of the Project Sharing dialog, accessed via File, Project Sharing in a current project or at the beginning of the creation of a project. Second, if any user opens the project file, they will be added to the users list and given default permissions, which will be explained shortly. Permissions within a project file determine which users can access what parts of the project. There are a number of permission levels that the administrator can assign to other users within a project. Permissions are an important aspect of using the project sharing feature. Here we have a matrix to help understand the various permission levels available. Down the side of the chart are six permission levels, starting at the top with the least restrictive, in that someone with administrative privileges can do just about anything in the file, including managing users, setting permissions, and project settings. A user with administrative permission is required in order to adjust the permissions of any other users working within a project. When you're first starting to work with project sharing, it is recommended that a user with administrator always be on hand to adjust settings where needed as progress on the project continues. Once all users in the project are more familiar with the project sharing environment and how to work with it, the administrator level access will not be used as frequently but you would still leave an administrative access permission user in the project. The next permission level, Project, lets users create and edit the classes as well as the master layers. We'll talk briefly about what a master layer is in a bit. Project permissions allow for the creation and editing of classes. Any permission below this cannot. Moving down the list to the Layers and Resources level. The main focus here is the ability to edit resources. This includes most of the material within the resource browser, including symbols, walls and slab styles, text styles, and hatches and textures. The next level down, Layers Unrestricted, restricts you from being able to create and edit resources. However, keep in mind that even at this level, resources and classes are still available, they just can't be edited, created, or deleted. You can still create and edit layers and their attributes. At the next level, Layers Restricted, the only real difference between this one and the one above is the fact that you can't create or delete layers. The final level, Read Only, is just that. You can create and open a working file and view the contents of the model, as well as publish or export, but change nothing. Users with this permission level cannot create new published saved sets, however, since that would be writing information to the file, but will be able to use any saved sets already included in the project for publishing. Once again, keep in mind these permission levels can be accessed and changed at any time by going to the User tab in the Project Sharing menu command and choosing Edit. A dialog outlining the description of the selected permission level will be displayed. When any user attempts to open a project file, they will be assigned what we refer to as default permissions. Generally, this would be left at Read Only, but you can customize this to allow whatever level of access you desire for new users. This is the permission level set for any user that attempts to access the project file, mind you. So if you have a large number of users in a given environment that do not need to modify the model, but do need to see it, read-only is just fine. If you want any user that accesses the project file to be able to alter any aspect of the file, then you could go ahead and set this to project instead, or any level between. It's up to you. This can be changed by a user with administrative permissions at any time in the bottom of the user's pane. You can import that set from other project files directly, and ensuring you get the exact same settings without having to alter them manually for each project. While we're talking about what can be checked out and by who, let's talk about resources for a minute. Resources, unlike layers, don't need to be checked out before they're edited. They're always available, provided you have the required permission level. Worksheets, scripts, and script palettes will require the permission level Layers Restricted or above. All other resources will require the permission level Layers and Resources. The various levels of permission may very well change from project to project depending on the set of tasks required of the team members as well as the complexity of the project. Keep in mind that those with administrative permissions can change the various levels of permission at any time throughout the project, but users should be instructed to commit any changes and release any layers they currently have checked out before their permissions are altered. In the next section, we'll walk you through the project sharing initial setup process step by step.